This is our second video on BBC Microbit. We are reviewing Microbit and compare it with Arduino Uno. First, we recreate the simple projects with Microbit and MicroPython such as turn LED on and off, push button, light sensor, play music and tune. Since Microbit build in some components, it is very easy at the beginning, just software and connect a speaker. Problem number one, when we want to do more, a Microbit expansion board is needed. We found this KSO295 sensor breakout board, its price is reasonable just $12.99 from Amazon. This is a project with WS2812B RGB LED strip. The expansion board breaks out all the microprocessor pins with 3.3 volt and ground pins. This is another project with SSD1306 OLED I2C display. The breakout board has I2C pins, so we can direct connect the OLED display on the expansion board. This is a complex project. It reads analog value from variable resistor, voltage divider, read and display the analog value on OLED display and controlling servo motor. Problem number 2. Microbit operates on 3.3 volt, servo needs at least 4.5 volt. The breakout board supports DC 4.75 to 12 volt, but no external power pins. Therefore, we need to create a small power board and break out the external power pins for servo motor. In the previous project, the servo responds too slow. In this project, I remove the OLED display code. The servo can respond faster. Problem number 3. When flush program to microbit, the exiting files in the microbit are removed. We need to re-upload the module files back to microbit. When we uploading files to microbit, mu shows an error message, it cannot refresh the file list in microbit. To resolve this problem, go to ripple mode, and come back. Microbit costs $27 compares to Arduino costs under $15. For expansion and breakout, Microbit needs another $13 expansion board. So, Microbit's starting cost is $40. To connect to 5 volt devices, we need to add a power connection board, another $3 to $4. Note, some expansion board have external power pins. Since we only have male to male jumper wires, then we need to create a set of female to female connectors. In term of performance, Microbit has a more powerful microprocess, and more RAM. In our experience, the MicroPython program ran slow with OLED display. After we remove the OLED display functions, the servo respond faster. However, the servo respond time is still slower than the similar project in Arduino. MicroPython is an interpreter, its implementation may not be very effective. In term of code size and complexity, Python code is simpler and smaller. Well, C is lower level language, its code should be bigger and has more details. For finding information, we found enough pages about MicroPython, but not enough pages to use Python with Microbit. If we creating a new project with new idea, we need to do a lot of testing and experiment. For peripheral, Microbit works with 3.3 volt devices. For Arduino users, we need an expansion board and external power pins. Note, some Arduino 5 volt devices work with 3.3 volt. For Microbit, we need more electronic knowledge to create new project. The final word, microbit is good and easier for children, but as soon as they create a bigger project, they need a lot of help. For STEM, there are some robotics, car, and remote microbit kits in the market. They are under $100, microbit is not included, but they are still much cheaper than LEGO robotics kits. Compared to Arduino, Microbit has higher starting price. If we want our children interested in STEM, they like to show off their creation. Since we can buy $6 Arduino boards from AliExpress, we can keep 5 to 6 Arduino prototype around. Microbit does have some advantage. It has built-in components, button, LED, accelerometer, temperature sensor, Bluetooth, more powerful CPU, more RAM, and it supports many high-level computer programming languages.